Good afternoon, everyone. Um, <clears throat> I just had dinner. Sliming as always. Can't wait for dessert. I hope I get dessert. Um, yeah, my mom is lately, she's, uh, she likes to make sweet potato. And it, like, has yeah, sugar, pineapple, coconut, and some kind of a cookie crumb add to it. Cinnamon, you know. So, can't wait for that. Um, so yeah. The new hype is Fast Five. Oh, God. It's been so long since I've been to a movie theater. Last time I went to the movies was Resident Evil 3D. I liked it. Uh, well, it wasn't perfect, but you know, it was okay. Um, you know, but I really, I, it'd be nice if I could just go see this movie. Cause it, all the hype it's getting, you know. And plus, you know, it'd be nice to go to the movie for a while. <clears throat> so. Uh, and lo and behold, I got people on my friends list. Uh, hyping about it too, so. And already, today there are reports out that Justin Lin, the director, is already on his way to making Fast 6. So. Me, I'm an action movie junkie. Um, uh, I've seen all the films on either DVD or cable. So I think I would. You know, the last time I had an opportunity to see Fast Five was when Dragon Ball Evolution came out. I chose Dragon Ball Evolution over Fast Five. Asshole. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, yeah, yeah, Dragon Ball Evolution was a bit, not even a bit, kind, it was kind of, well, yeah, it was kind of disappointing. I can't dog it totally, I mean, it had a nice look and all, but the film, just, in overall, just delivery generally sucked. It didn't really hit the base that, in, in a way that, in, that it, that it should. So I definitely regret not seeing Fast Five in theaters. But I would like to make up for it by seeing, no, no, I mean, I mean, Fast Four. I'm talking about Fast Four, Fast and Furious Four, Fast and Furious. It came out in 2009, same time Dragon Ball Evolution came out. See how tired I am? <laughs> tired and need a vacation. Fast Five just came out. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about a movie that just came out that didn't come out in 2009. Ah. <laughs> uh. See, this is what I need here. I need to go out, bump and grind a little bit. It's only Tuesday. Had this one lady just walk by, just totally stare at me, give this disturbed look at me. <laughs> ah, never fails. So, on the subject of movies, um, I like the way that the Mortal Kombat webisode series is delivering itself. I've been a fan of the game since its conception. Had. Mortal Kombat 3 on Sega Genesis back in the 90s. My last system was a Genesis with the 6 button. And the 6 button was my cousin's. I owned the 3 button. Um, uh, it's been years since I played video games. Like, heavily. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the episodes, but I really wish they wouldn't make them so damn short. Um, but I like where it's going. I'm gonna post the latest episode again later today. Uh, good thing about this one is, uh, well, I guess we're nearing the halfway point in the whole nine episode series. So we're finally winding down to uh, the story plot featuring Scorpion and Sub-Zero and finally uh, Sector, Cyrax, and Smoke, the uh, ninja robots from the game. This is me getting in touch with my inner uh, teenager. <laughs> Regressing back to the early days. 
I used to put 50 cents in to play Mortal Kombat 2. I like Mortal Kombat 2. Last time I laid hands on an arcade. Well, anyway, I'm just trying to add some substance to this video. Uh, <clears throat> so, how's everyone? Like my shirt? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a pretty, pretty slow week so far. So what's on your mind? Comment below. I gotta charge my phone in a minute. Uh, uh, cause uh, I like freedom of movement without having this thing plugged up. And plus it's not really good to use it while it's juicing. So, um, I miss you guys, even though you're there. Uh, love y'all. Peace. Take care. I'm sure I want to say something else, but for now that'll be it. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm gone. Bye.